G'day, Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass. Welcome to the workshop. This is a little bit different. I did a video the other day where I made a rolling pin and I made the blank too short and I sort of fixed it. The response to that video was such that, hey, it's great to see people like you making mistakes because it gives us hope. Let, the only reason I've learnt is because I've made mistakes. Here's a couple of videos of, or extracts from videos, where I, I did make mistakes. One was live on a live stream, and the other one was in the privacy of my workshop. But I thought I'd put them up just to let you know that when you make a mistake, there's no reason you should throw it in the trash. Just think about it, walk away, have a coffee and come back with a solution. And I guarantee, as in both these cases, you end up with a far nicer project than if you hadn't made the mistake. So please enjoy me failing from great heights and I'll talk to you after the videos. <laughs> All right, what else did we do? Oh, last week too, we did some um, dovetails. And I mentioned about a, a drawer that I did. Why am I looking down there? I should be looking at you guys. I mentioned a drawer that I did uh, several years ago. Crikey, been nearly 20 years ago. And this is it. And it's actually got 96 dovetails and the reason it was such a big draw was because as I told the story last week <laughs> I was over it this is um, Red River gum but it's really really if you look at it it's got beautiful uh, bird's eye through it and when I'd finished I was so over the timber that I had a ritual barbecue and burnt the rest of it. And the next morning I realised that there was five drawers, not four, and I only had enough timber for four drawer bottoms. So that is why this one's a super, super deep drawer, but it looks like two drawers. And the other two drawers that are on the cabinet actually look um, like this. So there you go. Uh, it is extremely heavy, it looks light, but it really is heavy. So that's that job. Uh, I think from memory that took me nearly a day to make that draw. Next thing is I'm going to set the table saw up so I can put in the solid edging. I've already pre-machined some solid edging out of Queensland Walnut and it's just over 10 mils, about 11 mil square. So I'll set the saw depth at about nine and a half to 10 mil, which will accept the solid edging and give me a little bit of overhang that I can machine off at a later stage. Well, I've been over to the saw, I've cut the top off and I've stuffed it. And I know this is woodworking masterclass, but it's not woodworking for someone who never makes mistakes and is perfect every time, because believe me, I'm not. But I thought I've put so much work into this leaf here, I'm not gonna throw the box away. And I thought, well, I don't know, perhaps you might make a mistake one day and this will help you out of a situation. So what I've decided to do, I've cut this too deep and I've got a kickback on the saw there because momentary lacks for concentration, which is not good. But I've decided I'm going to go ahead with it anyway and it's still going to look fantastic. So that's what we set out to make. Then we had that um, altercation with the saw, which changed everything. This is what I ended up with. And I think it's a pretty acceptable box. What I had to do was make changes to the base, but it's nicely flocked on the inside. It's got nice supports. This gives it a, I don't know, a bit of an oriental feel, I think. There are the two boxes that should have been the same, but ended up a little bit different. While we're on the subject of stuff ups and fails, here is a monumental failure I had with an epoxy a bowl that I wanted to do. It got contaminated with some petroleum grease and uh, I was going to throw it away but I didn't. I left it out in the sun for about six weeks and it's finally gone hard. So I'm going to turn it 
and just see if we can turn this failure around as well. If not, I'll put it in the bin and I've lost nothing. Well, I wouldn't call it a raging success, but I wouldn't call it a complete failure either. I'll um, sand this stuff off by hand on the back, and uh, yeah, we seem to have reclaimed it, and there's a bit of resin in there. Bits popped out there. Look, it doesn't matter. The main thing is you had a go at it, and uh, look, that'll clean up quite nicely. I'll put a finish on it, and I'll have it on the desk. Well, there you go. Just because, what is it, Churchill said, success is never final and failure is never fatal. It's a question of stepping back and going, okay, might have to change the design. How can I incorporate what just happened into what I'm making? What a fantastic opportunity to test out my creativity. So next time something doesn't go quite the way you planned it, step back and remember, the only true way of learning is through making mistakes and hopefully not making the same mistake twice. <laughs> anyway, this is Steve pulling the shed door down saying, remember to keep it sharp, keep it safe, never be disappointed if you make a mistake and enjoy your woodworking experience and journey. Bye for now.